Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. You know, we've covered some of the most mind-meltingly stupid takes on this channel. When it comes to anime, its culture, its fans, some of the accusations and claims made against them are so detached from reality and logic, it's almost hard to respond at times. Ironic for a medium entirely based in fiction to have real-life people microwaving their brain cells to try to cancel anything within its influence. The most common thing to see nowadays is reckless claims of the big old P-word. A word that continues to lose value because virtue signalers will attach this label to anyone or anything that makes them even the slightest bit uncomfortable. When it comes to these people, we've seen just about everything considered a product of pedophilia in their eyes. We've seen it with lolly characters. We've seen it with adult age short characters. We've even seen it with adults cosplaying fictional characters. It appears that just about anything falls under this label in their eyes, but now we can add large breasts to the list of things that apparently only predators like. While this isn't something totally new, it's been a big topic of discussion on social media over the past few days, one that has received a disturbing amount of support. And I want to preface this discussion by saying, whenever I cover social media posts in a video, I always take time to consider if they're troll posts made for attention. If they are, I'm unlikely to cover them unless it falls into a particular exception. That exception is when the posts, whether it's the product of trolling or not, plays to the same effect on the audience or the things targeted in the post. An example would be spreading ridiculous lies about an individual and masking it as a joke or irony, despite the fact that many people might unironically believe its message, hurting the target of the joke the same way as if it were true. This is the image we're going to be looking at today, a meme that has been making the rounds on social media and has generated a lot of backlash and disappointingly support as well. As you can see, I just took the image itself. I'm not even going to hint towards where it came from because I'm not here to feed into cloud chasing. The first account to post this generated tens of thousands of interactions. However, when the backlash came in, they made a bunch of posts and replies to the original tweet that could be considered troll posts, probably with the intent of making this look like a gag or irony. However, I'm pretty confident to say it was just a deflection of the blame that was coming in and a complete change of their original tone once the criticism came in, in an effort to protect themselves. I would have ignored this entire situation if I hadn't seen the same image reposted by many different accounts afterwards. Some posting with support of the message, some posting it as ironic bait, both of which resulting in tens of thousands of reactions as a whole. But like I said earlier, the effect of this, regardless of the poster's intent, plays to the same effect, spreading both dangerous rhetoric and slandering innocent animators of the series. I can't stress the irony of proving how a fictional character is pedo bait based on their large breasts. Why are people so keen on changing what the word pedophile means? So pedophilia is when a character has a feature that is literally impossible for a prepubescent child to have, you know, the thing they're supposed to be attracted to by definition, and all of this is ignoring the fact that we're talking about a screenshot of a fictional adult age large breasted dragon character working at her full time job. I can't think of anything more disconnected from reality and children. But the second part of this is what really got to me and the reason I made this video. Think about what this is saying. It's not just a bad take, it's also accusing the animators of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid of being pedophiles. Besides these reckless false claims, whether they're a joke or not, we're also talking about animators from Kyoto Animation, the same studio that had dozens of its employees killed in an arson attack against the studio's building only two and a half years ago. The spread of these statements or quote unquote jokes about their employees is some of the most foul shit I have seen in some time. Anyone who is a part of this, whether ironic or serious, should be ashamed of themselves. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.